What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get your very own custom cape in Minecraft Pogdition and it's actually a very, very simple tutorial. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys in today's video so if you do enjoy, make sure you go ahead and slap a like on this video. Alright guys, so this is how you can do it, it's very simple so you can have your very own skin with a cape, so it's pretty cool. Just make sure you go ahead and follow along, like pause the video if you have to. So uh, also, you do actually have to download a few things. So you have to download this, so the custom capes.zip file, so I'll leave that in the description below. And also, I'm using this app called B1 Achiever, so you can use any app that can kind of extract files, all that good stuff, but to make it a lot more easier for you, you can just, you know, download the exact same app that I'm using. So let's go ahead and uh, do this right now. So we're just going to kind of hold on this and press on extract and then we're going to uh, say extract to folder. So it's going to do that. We're going to press OK and we have a folder called custom capes. So this is very important. So we have a steve.png and also devil underscore cape.png. So we actually have to kind of replace this stuff. So for Steve, we're going to go ahead and remove it. So just press on delete, just like that. And now what we're going to do is actually move our own skin to this folder right here. So I'm going to go to my downloads because my skin is somewhere uh, in my downloads. So here we go, fusiondroid.png. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, press on copy. And let's just move over to custom capes. And we're just going to pretty much just put it right here. So just make sure you, you know, kind of click on the folder. So custom capes and then copy here. So now let's go back into that folder, custom capes, and we should see our skin right here. Now we actually have to remove it, actually not really remove it, but rename uh, the file. So as you can see, it's called fusion.png, but we actually have to call it devil. So make sure it's a capital D, E, V, I, L, because that's obviously how you spell devil, uh, and then press OK. So very, very simple. So now what we have to do is, if you don't really like this cape right here, so I'm just going to kind of um, show you guys. So let me just quickly, if it just lets it load. Okay, there we go. So that's what the cape looks like, kind of like the end eyes and the face and whatnot. But if you kind of want to have something different, go to this cape folder right here. And we have a ton of like different Minecon capes and also developer capes as well. So in this tutorial, um, let's see, what kind of cape do I want? There's quite a lot, but for this tutorial, I'm going to choose maybe this developer one, because for whatever reason, I just like that one. It just looks really cool. So we're going to go ahead and copy this, all right, into custom capes. So just right here, copy. So as you can see, the developer.png is right here, and we actually have to replace it with this. So to make it easier, you can just kind of... um. You have to uh, just, you know, kind of select all of it, cut, because we have to replace it. So it has to be the exact same name. So let me just go ahead, remove all of this, and then paste it, and then press OK. And it's going to tell me if I want to kind of override it. So that's what I want to do, press OK. And as you can see, now that one with the ender eyes and the face is now removed, and we just kind of replaced it with that uh, cape right there. So I think you could possibly go into Photoshop and kind of change this if you want to, but um, I'm not going to really mess around with that too much. But now let's go ahead and kind of back out of here, all right? Because we need to make this into an MC pack so we can put it into Minecraft Position. So we're just going to go ahead and hold on this right here, and we are going to press on compress, okay? So a zip file, sometimes it's automatically set to B1, so make sure it's on zip. And we're just going to kind of rename this file to MC pack just like that, and then we're going to press OK, and it's going to do its magic, and now if we kind of scroll down, we should be able to see this right here. So if I kind of just click on that, or you know, tap on it, but uh, for this, it's actually going to say that um, pretty much, wait, just wait for it, it's going to say that like a duplicate, because I already have it installed, so as you can see, it's not going to uh, do it because I already have one, but uh, yeah, obviously that's how you do it. Now, um, yeah, as you can see, I have the cape on, but Obviously, what you have to do is, because it's not going to come on straight away, okay? It's just that it just doesn't work like that. Um, you're going to have just some random skin, whatever you chose. But um, what we're going to do is kind of scroll all the way down at the bottom, because that's where the skin pack is going to be. So keep on scrolling down. <laughs> Might take a little bit of time, because there's so many skins. It is ridiculous. Oh my goodness, we're still scrolling. We are still scrolling. It's lagging a little bit, but... 
We're almost there. So as you can see, it's called the Halloween mashup pack and my skin is right there. So whatever skin you chose, it probably is going to be like your skin. You will see it right there. So these ones actually have um, a cape as well. So I, I'm not too sure if it works for these ones, but for the devil one, as you can see, it says devil, like devil up the top. So it obviously worked, which is pretty cool. So we now we have our very own cape, uh, which is the developer one as well. So we can confirm that and pretty much just, you know, jump into a game and it just works like that. So, um, apparently there's been, like, problems with capes over the, you know, updates. They just kind of work sometimes, sometimes they don't. So, if you're watching this video, like, maybe five months later and it's not working, maybe because it has something to do with an update, I have no idea. But Mojang just, they just kind of get rid of capes in MCPE. I don't know why. But, um, yeah, let's just wait for this to generate. And I can, you know, show off the, the lovely cape because it's so cool. It's just so awesome how this works. Like, look at this. Look at this, guys. I now have my beautiful cape. Um, and yeah, so we can just pretty much just walk around. Um, oh, that was some massive lag. Whoa, okay. Settle down, Minecraft Pollution. It's just a cape. Alright, you don't need a lag on me. <laughs> it's probably just my device. Uh, you know, obviously not the cape. So that is pretty much it for the tutorial. If this video did help you, make sure you go ahead, drop a massive like on this video, and you can even go on servers as well with this cape. So yeah, definitely slap a like if you guys didn't even know about this. But um, yeah, that's going to wrap up today's video like I said, and hopefully you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. See ya.